Hello everybody, Ben the Pat Tester here, Cater and Pat Testing is the channel. Today I'm going to do a quick video on the Seawood Prime Test 100. Now the reason this has come about is I have, or had, two Apollo machines. I had a 500 and a 400. And the 400 was getting a bit old, the battery was knackered, uh, see about that in another video. So I was looking for a, a bit more of a basic machine that I could use as a backup, but perhaps also use on smaller jobs. And the Prime Test 100 came under my radar and I thought, well, I'll give it a, a look and had a look. And I found this particular one on eBay and it was about 200 quid. Uh, second hand very good condition this one is the fifth edition um, and as you see here there is a mode on there that you're able to change the resistance values for the earth continuity test the insulation test and the sub leakage test i'll talk about more of that in a minute but be aware that there's lots of others on the market which are the older models which are not fifth edition they don't have this setup um, capability but I think having these is very useful so yeah it, it's a ver it's a very nice machine it's lightweight um, you know longer than the Apollo but not as thick not as heavy um, the benefits I can see over the Apollo range is it just takes six AA batteries um, so um, as people will know the Apollo batteries are terrible and you probably need to replace them every year if not sooner whereas these just six AA batteries and I think you get about a thousand or fifteen hundred test capacity with those so a lot cheaper to run um, let me switch it on for you and you can see um, so it's a very easy to use machine you've got your class one test there your class two test there and your cord test so your, your IEC cables or an extension lids like I said to you there you can go into setup mode and change the the um, pass uh, values depending on what you're testing so if you've got long extension leads it's 0.3 um, comes with your regular IEC test lead, also comes with an earth bond lead, but the one it comes with is quite clunky. It, it, it's not a probe, it's a crocodile clip. Uh, but as I've found, you can buy the probes on eBay. Uh, I don't think they're um, Seawood manufactured, um, and I picked one up for about 14 quid. Um, because I prefer using a probe than a than a crocodile clip. Um, then you've got the usual IEC and probe connector on there. There's no mains connector on there, um, so it purely is a battery machine. But as a as a backup, <coughs> um, it seems really good. The um, the test functions on there are very quick, um, really good, really streamlined, really easy to use. Um, so obviously the only downside with this machine is because it's an entry level machine, it doesn't have Bluetooth or uh, wireless capability. Um, so some of the um, the QTEC uh, machines, the more expensive ones, I think have Bluetooth capability or they connect wirelessly to the um, QTEC app. Um, this one is manual, so you can use this with the pat mobile app from seawood so you can load that onto your phone and then basically what you can do is you do your tests and then if you've got a tablet or a phone running with the app on you can enter the pass values or pass and fail or the individual readings as you go and then very quickly do the test results so it does away with manually writing down um, so i'm going to try this machine um, instead of my apollo on a few jobs see how we get on with it um but so far i'm really liking it it's um you know, a lot of people don't like the apollo because it's quite clunky quite heavy and it's difficult to get into small spaces whereas this is very very lightweight um as well there's no um small keyboards to to play around with and obviously the the settings and this on this has limited functionality but there's a basic entry level pat tester um if if you're going in doing small amounts of testing or you're looking for a backup absolutely perfect so i'll perhaps do another video another day of how i get on with the machine and i'll do a demo of the seawood uh, pat mobile app as well because i've had a play with that and it seems quite quite functional um and it does the job so i hope that helps uh, go and have a look at my other videos and uh, see you next time 